Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today we are doing the best coconut fragrances or at least, I know, every single coconut fragrance that I've got in my collection. I absolutely love and adore coconut. Uh, not just for the summertime, in general. I love, love this note. And I realized that I've got in here, hear me out, over 25 fragrances that have coconut and where you can actually smell the coconut. I might have others that feature this note, but I just can't really smell it. Or maybe I missed other fragrances. I don't know, I have a huge collection, okay? I might, uh, I might have missed something. But here I've got, I think there are actually 27, but like I said, over 25, 27, 28, something like that. Fragrances that have coconut, where you can smell the coconut, that absolutely love and adore. Obviously, this note is just perfect, amazing for the summertime. Most of them are gonna be, are gonna be very, very summery. Not all of them though. So we are gonna have some fragrances that you can definitely wear all year round. Um, yeah, I've got in here, I know, I've got very affordable ones, like very affordable ones. I've got designers, I've got niche, I've got a bit of everything. I do have others, other fragrances that have a coconut note that's very prominent, but they're not available anymore. They, they've been discontinued. So I said, okay, I'm not going to mention them because I don't want you to, I don't know, try to find it everywhere and it's actually not available anymore. So yes, they're more on the market, what well, they used to be, they're more in my collection, uh, but you can't really find them. So what's the point, you know? So yeah, if you like this video, obviously, don't forget, okay, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and now let's jump in. With you, I think I've made a mistake with these earrings. I absolutely love how gorgeous are them. Love and adore them, but it's so, they're so like noisy. Can you hear them when I move? I hope you can't hear them as loud as I do. Anyway, if you if this is bothering you, I'm really sorry. Okay, I don't realize, and I really love them, and I feel like they match. You know, the whole vibe, the whole look. Let's start. I'm going to be very quick. This is not going to be a full review. I already reviewed pretty much everything that's in here. Search for that review. This is just like a briefly introduction to those fragrances. Let's start with some that are very, very affordable, but you can only find them if you live in the UK. Okay, so the first one is Creme de Pistache from 77 cents. This is a small indie brand I found on Etsy and they have amazing fragrances. This one is more pistachio than coconut, but it literally smells like coconut cream with like pistachio cream. I wore this one on holiday last year. It's delicious. It's amazing. It's extremely gourmand. It's very thick. It's very creamy, like mm, amazing. Again, it's coconut and pistachio. Um, and it, yeah, it just wears beautiful on the skin. You definitely need to be into gourmand to enjoy this one, but it's absolutely amazing. And the next one is from the same... Uh, company this one is Rio Carnaval um, and it's kind of like a fresher take if you ask me of creme de pistache this one definitely has way more coconut by the way I did not look up for the notes so I'm gonna talk from what I can smell and from memories okay like what I can remember it's definitely fresher I think it still has some pistachio as well it definitely has some pistachio as well but it's definitely not as thick it's definitely not as sweet as the previous one this one is more like daytime where the other one is more like nighttime but they're both absolutely beautiful um you can test them you can sample them they have bigger bottles smaller bottles um i absolutely love this like small indie house next ones i'm gonna mention it okay i know nobody talks about it anymore ariana grande cloud everyone knows how this one smells like but guess what i really like it i still really like it this is that baccarat rouge DNA with some toasted coconut. I personally still really, really like this fragrance. Okay. The next one is La Nuit Trésor Nude. This one is still available. Pretty much every single other La Nuit Trésor that I really like has been discontinued. Not this one. This one is literally La Nuit Trésor with some coconut. It's sweet. It's fluffy. It's beautiful. If you like the original DNA, I'm sure you're going to like this one as well. It is different for sure. You can definitely smell the coconut, but it's not massively different. Okay, so it's pretty safe if you like the original or I don't know any other flanker from 
la noi trezor um, from Lancome. The next one, one that I completely forgot that I have and I just love it, I still love it. Dolce Garden from Dolce & Cabana. This one is so different. For me, it's like this floral, a bit green as well. Like it's, it, it makes sense, like the garden, it makes sense. With coconut, I'm definitely getting the coconut. I know some people don't get the coconut. I feel like to, those, to these days, this fragrance is such a unique fragrance. It's such a unique perfume uh, for designers, for niche. Like I generally do not have anything that is... Please stop. My even is bothering me. Um, I don't have anything in my collection that smells exactly like this or that actually like reminds me of this one moving on okay now i've kind of tried to put them by categories you know so we're gonna have some like floral coconut fragrances the first one it's coco loco from supers budapest coco loco is such such a beautiful fragrance it's obviously coconut but this one is coconut with jasmine it's a bit powdery as well it's very very tropical it's a tropical coconut it goes slightly into suntan lotion but not really i don't think it has any like tiari flower or anything like that but it's something very tropical about it it's almost gourmand but like a floral gourmand like you are on i don't know tropical destination and you're at the beach and it has a whole like the whole, that whole vibe it's very like it's very hot outside you know it's a very sunny fragrance very solar almost as well i really really like this one and it's like i said it's slightly powdery should i take these earrings off because they're really bothering me okay one more chance uh beautiful fragrance the next one it's ilangin gold from mika leaf this one is mainly ilangi lang um but you're definitely getting the coconut as well like for me coconut is the second note it has like a billion notes but this like, coconut is definitely the second most prominent note. You need to try it. I talked about it a billion times. It's so luxurious. It's mm, it's good. It's proper good. Okay, I'm done with you. I'm taking them off. Here we go. I think this one is fine. Yeah, this one is fine. This should... No, it's not fine. Bear with me. Um, I'm sick of these earrings, honestly. Right, I had to change them because they were so annoying. So, yeah, moving on. Bora Bora from Giardini di Toscana. Bora Bora, it's uh, if you're into like super tropical floral coconut fragrances, I'm sure you're gonna love this one. It's again like flowers, um, like tiari flowers, coconut. I think it has some ylang ylang. This one is super, 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 super tropical. It has some caramel as well, if I'm not wrong. I think it has some caramel. It's again that super sweet tropical vacation. If you like that style, if you like any of the previous ones, like Ilan Gold, even though they do, like they don't smell the same, they don't give you the same. They give you the same vibe, but they definitely don't smell the same. Uh, Coco Loco from Supers. If you like any of those, or if you like Bora Bora, I'm sure you're gonna like the other ones. And the last one that is the most different, I would say, it's Quattro Pizzi from uh, Zerjo from the Casa Morati line. This is very new to my collection and initially I liked it but I was not really like obsessed with it. Now I really like it. Like it definitely definitely grew on me. This is a very very unique fragrance because it has the it has the vanna, has rum, so it's green but it's booze in the same time. It has tuberose which starts quite green but then it gets sweeter and then you're getting coconut as well. It's more like a coconut water for me. It's definitely more like tuberose, green, floral than coconutty, but getting the coconut as well. I really like it now. Like I was not really that much in love with it, but I really like it now. I wore it um, a few days ago, and I was like, mm, mm, th "This is this is so different. It's so different. I suggest you try it first. Uh, but yeah, it's a good it's a good release from Zerjov. Moving on. Okay, let's move on to some um, fruity. You know coconut fragrances we've got melon kiss my fragrance in collaboration with navitus melon kiss it's obviously melon honeydew melon more exact more exactly but then it has coconut milk as well look at that sprayer look at that it's honeydew melon for sure and then you're getting like i said it has some honey some creamed creamed honey 
uh, but you're definitely definitely getting the coconut milk it's milky it's creamy in you need to be into milky perfumes but if you like milky perfumes i'm sure you're gonna love this one you can definitely smell the coconut you can definitely smell the melon as well and for most fragrances obviously for mine i do have my coupon code 10 percent off uh, and I do have coupon codes for other perfumes, so just I'm just going to leave everything in the description box for you, okay? Next one, uh, I'm going to move very quickly. Oh, okay. Nassau from Alfred Ricci. I told you I need a full bottle of this because it's gorgeous. This is Summer in a Bottle. This is coconut and raspberry. And mm, yeah, it's coconut and raspberry, but it's fresh in the same time. It has some other fruits for sure. It has something fresh as well. But it's just such such a beautiful fragrance i can't see like someone not liking this one if you ask me like i cannot see how someone would not like this fragrance it's good it's really good you're getting you're definitely getting the um, raspberry but it's not necessarily thick and dense it's still like airy and coconutty and again it's more like coconut water so it's refreshing as well um nassau Try it, try it. It's the newest release, okay? Something else, Amore Torido. I have my first bottle. Uh, I just changed the cap because I have one with the cap and one without the cap because last time I dropped it, okay? And I don't want that to happen again. This is a masterpiece. This is gorgeous. This is everything. I know it's very expensive. I know that. I am aware. Amore Torido. Nothing freaking beats Amore Torido is this like apple with grapes like you're getting all of those fruits on top and then you're getting this coconut in the dry down that is to die for. It's so like mm, 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 mm. it's amazing. It's super long lasting. One of my most complimented fragrances when it comes to the summertime. Uh, yeah, it's just it's just gorgeous, period. What else we've got in here? Okay. Bontalenti from Profumo di Firenze, you already know, so and it's super sweet, super dense, it's coconut, it has banana, it has other fruits, it has cookies, it has, yeah, it's so sweet and so thick and so dense, it's creamy as well, you need to be into very, very sweet fragrances, but again, this is another beautiful gourmand for the summertime, especially like summer evenings. The next two are actually both from Simone Andreoli, Leisure in Paradise. This is coconut and pineapple and papaya and it's super like delicious and super sweet and yeah it's just it's, it's good i talked about it so many times and the next one is my favorite one uh malibu party in the bay this is honestly i stopped with my earrings and now my chair is right i need to change my chair honestly tomorrow i'm working tomorrow the day after tomorrow i'm going and i'm gonna buy a new chair because this is this is driving me insane my little part in the bay. Such a beautiful, refreshing unisex. Some people are saying it leans more masculine. I don't think so. It's again like rum and coconut and lime. You can definitely smell that lime and coconut. It's super, super, super refreshing. And it has a sweetness as well. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay. Uh, what else? Something that kind of like gives me similar vibes it's coco loco from zaharov coco loco is definitely more limey and more i don't know almost like more coconutty as well i know that different they give you like similar vibes but they're different at the same time let me spray my little pot in the way because actually i never tested them side by side they give me like they give you like a similar vibe Coco Loco is almost a bit more masculine. Yeah. Yeah, Malibu part in the bay is, is sweeter. And Coco Loco is more like limey. I don't know. That's similar. But this one almost, Malibu almost goes a bit gourmand, where Coco Loco is fresh, is fresh, it stays, stays fresh. I love both of them. Like, I love both of them, okay? Uh, they're just like differences that maybe you prefer more of this or more of that but personally i love both of them like yeah uh what else do we have okay we don't have that many left thanks god because 
I thought this video was going to be unbelievable uh, long. Summer Hammer from Lorenzo Pataglia. This is another one that's not just coconut, it's coconut, other fruits, but for me, the main one is pineapple. Again, it's unisex, super refreshing. The coconut is more like a coconut water. You're definitely getting the pineapple. It's sweet, but it's definitely not too sweet. But it has this like refreshing, cooling down, you know, effect on you. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. You're definitely getting the coconut, but you're getting that pineapple as well. Two from Saint Journey, cocktails and catamarans. Cocktails and catamarans is like pina colada and coconut, and it has lots of other fruits as well. Yeah, it's such, such a fun fragrance, still refreshing. But it's like just a fun fragrance, period. It's like a cocktail. It smells like a cocktail. I know it has pina colada, but for me, it doesn't necessarily smell just like pina colada. It smells like this fruity cocktail with coconut, like almost like a cold coconut on top. This is what I'm getting. And the next one, it's Coco Cocktails, uh, which is a mixture between the previous one and another fragrance this one doesn't have other fruits but this one uh like as many fruits as the previous one but this one has banana and rum and it's definitely like boozier it's definitely coconut it's coconut with something boozy you're getting a ta it's slightly that banana i'm not saying it's that strong it's kind of like a boozy coconut a bit fruity fragrance they're both beautiful they're both unisex if you ask me like the both unisex okay um and both of them feature the note of coconut okay what do we have left okay from now on everything is super sweet proper sweet like maybe a bit too sweet for some people but it's not for me okay not for me madera from omnia profumi i've spoke about this one a billion times this one has like it's vanilla coconut probably some caramel as well is the sweetest coconut vanilla fragrance that you can find it's super potent super sweet might be a bit too much for some people not for me though absolutely love it um yeah it's just super 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 dense and sweet and yummy uh will be love from epico this one is this one is whipped cream and coconut and you're getting i think it has some lemon or like orange things like that but it literally smells like whipped cream. It's delicious. It's good. It's good, good. You can wear this on summertime. You can wear it all year round as well. Maybe it's more appropriate for like summer evenings. Um, but it's, it's, it's good. It's good. I love it. I personally love it. Bunny Coco from Kumtor Sud Pacific. Uh, I honestly cannot remember how this one smells like. Because I didn't smell it in a very long time. But I just, I, I know that it's good. Okay. Okay, this one is definitely more, again, that vanilla, coconut, super sweet, a bit artificial, just a tiny bit artificial, but I don't mind that. It's good. It's good. Yeah, I still love it. I still love it. Yeah. One, I just remembered. I do have um, I do have one here. I only have a sample. I have a bottle on the way. I received from this brand three fragrances and the discovery kit. I loved the three. I'm talking about Sphinx. Love the three that I got, and from the discovery kit, I loved other three fragrances, and I actually purchased them, so they're on the way, okay? Uh, so yeah, I received three, but then I purchased three as well. One of them, again, I have a bottle on the way, is Coconut Daikiri. I really like this thing, okay? I really like this thing. This, again, super, 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 it feels like a lemonade. It feels like coconut and lemonade like refreshing by sweet people are comparing it to creed one of the creed fragrances i don't know i've i smelled them ages ago i'm not necessarily the biggest fan of them that's just not for me but this one i don't know it's just something again super super refreshing about it you're definitely getting the coconut again but it's limey lemony it's more like lemony than limey and it's, mm, it's good. It's just it's just something about it that is super, super, super refreshing. Let's go back to our very sweet fragrances. Creme Brulee from Theodoros Calotinis. It literally smells like creme brulee, but it has coconut as well, and you can smell the coconut as well. Okay, initially, I wasn't really getting that much coconut, 
but now I'm definitely getting the coconut as well. It's very, very, very sweet. It literally smells like creme brulee and some coconut. It's delicious. It's amazing. And how many do I have left? Three. Velvet cocoa. It's literally like, like the Ferrero, Ferrero Rocher, you know that inside the filling. Like that coconut, like coconut shaving. I don't know. It's coconut meat. It's coconut. It's 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 so coconutty. It's it's so good. It's tiny, tiny, tiny bit artificial, but it's that sweet. It's that gourmand that it's kind of very hard, you know, not to be a little bit artificial. Let me spray it here. Actually, this is summery, but this can be definitely worn like all year round. It's not necessarily tropical. But it, mm, it's good. It's good. I really, I personally really like it. This one, okay. And the next one that gives me like a similar vibe, it's cotton candy, uh, not cotton candy, all the time I'm saying cotton candy, cotton vanilla from Rumadam. Cotton vanilla, it's even sweeter. And this one has coconut, vanilla, and peach. You can definitely smell all of them. It's not tropical. Okay, it's not tropical. This is just your delicious, yummy, everyday gourmand. Like, if you love to smell like a snack every day, check that out check that one out i know that coconut sometimes is just like tropical and that's it and some people are not into that those two can be worn all year round with no problems it's good it's really 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 good i personally love it personally love it okay and the last one is it the last one is the last one nerone from pantheon roma this is definitely the most different fragrance okay because i'm definitely getting a sweet sweet coconut with leather. It's to die for. It's not for everyone. I know that because it's strong. It's very strong on that leather. But for me, the mix of that sweet coconut with the leather is just, it's a beast as well. I love it. The leather is similar to the leather in Cherry, uh, cherry Punk uh, mandol from soradora that type of leather is there it's strong okay but i still love it like you, you can smell the coconut as well it's such a unique take on like a coconut fragrance it's such a unique perfume i love it absolutely love it so the last one that we have in here is it the last one though oh, again like i feel like i went through all of them very quickly like way too quickly now um but yeah i think it's the last one Nerone from Pantheon. Right, and that was it for today. Um, honestly, my chair is annoying me. My earrings were annoying me. My chair is still annoying me. Stop it. Uh, but yeah, that was it for today. Let me know in the comments down below which coconut fragrance you love. Uh, if you tested any of these, if you like them, if you don't, and all of that. And uh, obviously, if you like this video, don't forget, okay, don't forget to give a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and like always, I'm going to see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.